Greetings, my name is Jason Nakula and I'm Trisessa Sadewa and we are Delta Robotics Steel, Team ID 5020 from Indonesia, competing in our Cup Rescue First Step for U19 category. This is our first time competing in a RoboCup competition. Although we just started learning robotics and programming, robotics has sparked our interest since we are about 11 years old. And we are only have one other robotic experience that is a robotic competition in a, a local robotic competition to be exact in WIRC 2021. The summary of this preliminary challenge is in the RCAP Cross Space Rescue for Study 19. Our task is to collect a, a small rectangular object on the map. These objects are divided into three colors that is cyan, red, and black. Each color has different points. The goal is to collect and deposit the object in the area marked by the color orange while avoiding the box that is surrounded by yellow trap that is positioned around the map. We solve this task by effectively utilizing the various sensors that exist on the robot and using green and purple marker on the map as a guide to the deposit box. The strategy netted us uh, on average 1,250 points with best score of 1,500 points. Analysis. In this part of your presentation, I shall explain to you um, the various uh, analysis of our run. Um, as stated previously, um, the goal is to collect as many points within the time limit while avoiding traps that reduce your point. To achieve this mission, we broke down the mission into three parts, navigation, detection, and further refinement of the strategy. Seeing as we are here, we can quite confidently say that with, com the comp with completing of the both mini and sub tasks, the mission should be completed into a satisfactory degree. AI Algorithm Resources The basic AI that the program uses is a simple if conditional, where you put in input values, and if those values are met, the robot will run the specified action, if equals x to a sort of arrangement. By using the basic logic AI algorithm, you can effectively manipulate the various sensors that the robot has equipped with three ultrasonic sensors, two color sensors, a compact sensor, time sensor, and GPS sensor, object storage memory, and state memory. And also, the robot is using a torque vector mechanism to accelerate and decelerate uh, each wheel individually. With the race of sensors and simple yet effective algorithm, you can quite reliably create a lot, a lot of versatile strategies for all location. Primarily, if you take advantage of the state memory to create all sorts of backup plans and secondary strategies that you can implement uh, midway to the game. Implementation. Uh, now we can start implementing system and si strategies to, that take full advantage of the provided AI algorithm, sensors, and resources which is available to us. Grouping. Uh, this system describes what we call uh, grouping similar programs into one sub-program. This is to ensure that the programs in that group are given equal priority and other programs that may interfere is put into a different priority and or group. This helps also to organize your programs so you can find and edit them easily. Multi-sensory parallel detection by programming each sensor individually, you can more effectively detect things and react apart appropriately. Top vectoring or in the aviation world called thrust vectoring. By moving each wheel independently, the robot can make more advanced maneuvers and keep moving while turning or make sudden changes of direction. 
this is achieved by varying the speed of each wheel individually. Min and max condition. Min and max conditions are helpful other than separating color and ultrasonic sensors. They can also be used to remove any unnecessary actions such as avoiding rubs when you don't have any objects stored or maximizing deposit points by giving a minimum deposit point. Flowchart, uh, this, in this slide you can see the flowchart diagram that we have made. Um, the grouping system is the three dark blue um, sort of triangle thing. It's uh, the sensor move and time equals zero. Um, by looking at the slide, you can more easily um, understand what uh, we mean by the grouping, torque factoring, in and max conditions, etc. Diva, does the robot do go as what you have done? Uh, the answer is no. As a famous general one said, plants always fail upon first contact with the enemy. This quote also applies to robotics. A plant could never suffice the first contact with reality. Second question, what was the possible cause? It could be anything from uh, a code interfering with other codes and overlapping uh, val input values. Um, how did you fix the issue? Uh, it, um, luckily, uh, the program provided a debugging tab which is available to be viewed when the program is running. It provides a lot of live useful information on the various sensors on the robot, which we can take a note of if there is any an unexpected behavior and adjust the sensor to fix or mitigate the problem, such as the the robot is confused with two or more code which is with her with similar parameters but is diff telling different actions. Please state the debugging process. Okay, so the debugging process is put into a few steps. First, um, when a problem is encountered, uh, you look at the various sensors to determine what is wrong. When the problem is has been identified, um, you can take notes of the problems and how to solve it. Go back to the AI editor tool and edit the parameters as needed. Uh, conclusion. In conclusion, we feel that our efforts were quite satisfactory, and with more time and strategy. And this strategy can mature and be more effective in the future. One obvious homework for us is to develop a more effective, precise turning program and a randomized turn program to accelerate discovery and exploration. And an auto return program of some sort, so that when the robot full with the objects, the robot could quickly return to the deposit box to deposit the objects and return to collecting points. While participating, we learned that making everything as precise as possible isn't always the most effective strategy. Some problems need more flexibility to work, and as a tip for everyone that wants to try doubling in programming, never expect anything to be successful in the first time. It's okay to change strategy midway and also sharing is a good way to solve any problems. Overall, we gain knowledge and experience with programming a robot. Thank you very much.